Hi everybody, this is Mike from Videoblocks.com. Today we're going to show you a quick tutorial on how to work with Apple Motion templates by adding your own media, text, and logos and exporting them into movie files. One quick note about Apple Motion is that it's a visual effects program made by Apple as a sister program to Final Cut. So that means it'll only work on Mac and not a PC. Alright, let's go ahead and get started here. When you download a motion template, it's going to come in a zip file. The first thing that you'll need to do is open or uncompress the zip file, and you can do that by just double clicking it. Open the folder that appears, and you'll see a preview movie file, a media or assets folder, and a readme file, which gives you a brief synopsis on how to edit the template. So we'll go ahead and double click on the Clean Moves motion project. Alright, so once your motion interface is open, you'll see the layers, media, and timeline along with the preview of your video that just gives you feedback on what you're editing. If you have media, pictures, or videos to replace, the first step is to import them into your project. Under File, select Import, and select the media that you want to bring into your project from your computer. So we'll find that, click OK, and now that we've imported our media and outside elements, we're ready to get started. In Motion, the major work that you'll be doing is in the Inspector pane on the upper left part of the interface. This is similar to the Effect Controls panel in Adobe After Effects if you've ever used that program. First, select the Inspector and then click on the Project tabs in the Inspector pane and the Top Timeline layer. This brings up a convenient panel of Published Parameters or Editable Parts of the template. You'll see your designated medias, otherwise known as Drop Zones text placeholders, and finally your logo placeholder. First, we'll go ahead and replace the media. To the right of your first drop zone, select the To drop-down menu and simply match it with a video clip or picture that you want in the placeholder. Another way to do this is to select the Media tab and to drag and drop your image into your chosen drop zone. So just go ahead and do this for the remaining drop zones and pictures and you're done, your media is replaced. Next, you can replace the text by deleting the current text in the boxes under the inspector and just typing your own text. So we'll go ahead and just move over that in the timeline and you can see your text being updated in real time there. If you need to resize the text or pictures for that matter, you can just match the current text that you're working on with the numbered text in the timeline. So once you click on that, you'll be able to adjust the scale or size so that the proportions fit. Once you finish adding your text, you can replace your logo in the same way as the drop zone media by clicking to and selecting your logo from either your media tab or your computer. If the template comes with a set resolution for the logo and yours appears a little large or small, you can still adjust the size. You can just find the logo in the timeline and adjust the scale from there in the inspector. In this case, we'll go ahead and expand the logo group, click on the logo, and then go ahead and adjust the scale. Once your logo is in, you're all set, and you can either play or scrub through the timeline to see what your video looks like before you render it. To export or render the video, click Share, Export Movie, or Command-E on Mac, and your QuickTime export settings will appear. Select your preferred Kodak. We recommend either Apple ProRes or H.264 for good quality but manageable file sizes. Hit Next and then simply give the video a title and choose the destination that you'd like to save it. Hit Save and you're good to go. Motion will start exporting the project, but we'll go ahead and jump to see what the video looks like when it's done rendering. All right, here's our final product ready to go. We've got our motion template with the text, video, and the logo replaced. If you want any more tips or tricks on creating professional quality video, you can subscribe below or check out our channel. If you're interested in any more Apple motion templates, you can check them out at videoblocks.com. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.